Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you part 2 of my CNC controller. In the previous video I talked about the bottom half here, which is basically the power unit. The power unit consists of the PC power supply box over on the right, which supplies 20 volts for the stepper motor driver board here. And on the left hand side, we have the 50VA transformer, which supplies 36 volts out for the spindle. And what has changed here is I have added the 3D printed air vents that allows cool air to enter while the motor at the back draws out the hot air. As you can see here I have the top half which is in works. On the right we have the driver board for the stepper motors all the outputs to the three stepper motors are here and basically on the left I have the USB CNC board which sends the commands to the driver board via the parallel port over here and it also commands the spindle to turn on or off via the 5 volts out to the relay switch in the bottom, which I talked about in the last video. Just like the bottom half, I'm using fiberglass sheets like this, and the acrylic standoffs. L bracket is basically to form the casing. So as you can see here, I have the front panel with the holes cut out. It's quite hard to get this hose because I do not have the CNC router at the moment. I'm using a rotary tool to cut out this rectangle hole and the scalar holes here. So I have another air vent here for the cooling fan. So I'll put the hot air and an emergency e-stop. And this one is a 12 pins aviation and basically this would be the output for all the three stepper models. So let me put in all this on the front panel and show you how it looks like. On the bottom left, this cutout here is for the USB port. So it goes like this. And then um, lastly would be the air vents, which would go on top. Pretty straightforward and then for the back plate I've already cut out the fiberglass. This goes to the back and lastly on top I have the cover which is the last fiberglass sheet and that's it for my CNC controller.